The ribbon was cut today for five businesses inside the Laurel Mall. Representatives from the Greater Hazelton Chamber of Commerce brought the scissors and the red ribbon. Here's a look at the five grand openings. One, two, three. Yay! Well, we're starting our fall winter lines already. Uh, again, a major retailers, we already have outerwear in the store, which is really moving fast. Back to school and anything you could possibly dream of, we have in the store. Yay. Tell us what we'll find inside Hazelton Accessorios. Well, we will find like. Uh, this is our urban uh, stuff, you know, you're going to find hats, you're going to find belts, uh, chains, uh, you're going to find uh, bags for men's. Probably we're going to bring more stuff. We're trying to, like, get all the stuff that we want and put it on there in that little space. Three. Yay! Well, we're in business 40 years. Uh, Rockwood called me and said that he was interested in filling a store. So we're moving out of Church Street, and we ended up coming up to the mall, which uh, Rocco and Lisa, was, they're, they're terrific. I mean, they really helped us out. Great people. Absolutely the best. Yes. So now what will all our viewers find when they come to shop at Mariano's? Well, we have brand name furniture, discount prices. We deliver. We do, you know, we do everything that's got to be done. And I feel that like we have a nice product for the value. Three, go. Yay! Well, we're excited about the new location. We also opened up a new location in Scranton about a year and a half ago, downtown Square. So we moved from the smaller location here to the bigger location, kind of inspired by the store down there because we have a lot of stuff to do. We're looking for the positive future and good things coming because we used to just buy gold and silver and coins and stuff like that. Now we're buying much more than that and selling much more than that. There we go. Well, we made a yeah, move up here to uh, what we feel is going to be a better area as far as the traffic at the mall. We're here to uh, try to get exposure. Uh, we have some product to sell in here. We have a good lineup of mattresses and uh, recliners, Lazy Boy recliners. And it's we're here to uh, just uh, let people know that we've uh, expanded and uh, people that don't know who we are, it gives us a great opportunity to uh, talk to them and meet them and uh, let them know what we do and about our store downtown and the services that we provide. We're really pleased. I mean, five businesses in one day is not bad. Now, you're hoping to do some more very soon. Yeah, we are. Um, Genevieve's Deli should be opening within the next week and a half uh, to two weeks. They're waiting on their final inspection from Sugarloaf Township. I was down there yesterday. They're all set to go, so the deli should be opening soon. We do have another announcement that a tenant is taking over the Cross Valley, the former Cross Valley location, the credit union. So I won't say who it is yet because the ink didn't dry on the uh, lease. And of course, uh, Lexington Realty has to execute it, but the lease has been signed by the, uh, by the corporation. So it was just sent up to Lexington on Monday. So we'll be announcing that, but that's two more. Rocco Ruzzo tells us that the finishing touches are being made on leases for two businesses that will occupy part of the former Kmart store. They hope to make an announcement in the near future.